Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Our top story tonight, a rash of vandalism in several local communities has landed a group of young men behind bars. Police say they're responsible for shooting up dozens of cars with BB guns. As 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards explains, this has many residents on it. An unwanted surprise for dozens of car owners. Many vehicles shot up by BB guns or worse. Several spray painted with vulgar language or graphic pictures. Ferndale police say five men from 17 years old to their early 20s did all this damage. We're told officers got a lot of reports early this morning. They stopped. They noticed that there were some BB guns inside the vehicle. Uh, they got the five out, uh, determined that they were the ones that were shooting the vehicles. Shattered glass is still stuck in June Shin's SUV. She can't believe a bunch of vandals are responsible for all this damage. I just don't understand it. I mean, they, like, what's the point of it? You know, I mean, they didn't steal anything. I checked every, my, everything's in there, and it's just, I mean, the kids are bored. I mean, I guess they have nothing better to do than to just do bad things. Brickley, one of the worst hit streets. Neighbors tell me when it happened, several people came out of their homes. Police got here quickly. We're told the guys responsible bought the BB guns at a nearby mire around 5 a.m. During their shooting spree, they damaged more than 40 vehicles in Ferndale, Royal Oak, Madison Heights, and Hazel Park before they were arrested by 6.30 a.m. In roughly an hour, they went through four cities and shot up as many cars as, as they could. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to get that caught, definitely. Um, I don't know if they're going to learn anything from it. Who knows if they're going to learn their lesson. Rarely do they catch them, so I'm glad we had some good neighbors keeping an eye in the neighborhood. The suspects now face felonies. Meanwhile, some neighbors are trying to maintain a sense of humor. You know, I got to meet the neighbors. A <laughs> heck of a way, but I got to meet the neighbors. In Ferndale, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News.